Hey guys, how you doing? This is Benjamin with Benjamin Exotics, and in this video today, we're going to be looking at what is the best place to get your new pet snake from. This video is going to be more for the um, person who is just new to the reptile hobby, who doesn't have a bunch of snakes already, um, and this is going to be a video, you know, showing that person the best place to choose to pick your first pet snake. So, um, this is going to be a little bit different of a video set up than normal. I'm actually going to be in front of the camera. We're going to see how this goes. Hopefully the angle is good enough and can get my face and everything. But let's get straight into the video. So for the first person, first animal, reptile lover, enthusiast, buyer, okay? You're out there, you're sitting down, you've done your research, you know what you're talking about. Well, at least you know what you're talking about, you know, from what you've seen online. You've learned, listened to a bunch of people, you're really interested, you have a passion for these animals, and you're ready to buy, okay? You want to get that first snake, you want to own you want to be able to physically have, you know, that first snake. You have a bunch of different options that I'll break down in this video for a place to get that first snake. So, the first one and the most common one that people get from, I have had so many people get them from this place or a place like this. Some have had good experiences, a few have had bad. And the first one is your big name brand, name, you know, your big chained pet stores, okay? We're talking about um, Petco, PetSmart, Petland, um, Pet Supplies Plus, I think, Jack's Pets, I don't know if they're just localized to my area, but they might be US-wide, I don't actually know. But, you have a bunch of different options when you're looking at getting your first snake. Um, and this is the one that is, you know, like I said, the most common. So, the problem, here's, here's the biggest problem. I would say for the first person getting your snake at a pet store is probably not your best bet. For a few different reasons. First reason is going to be that when you're looking at the pet stores, most of the time, economically, it does not, it's not feasible for them to get these animals captive bred, okay? I don't care what they said at the pet store, most of the time, they are importing them. Uh, most of them are from Reptiles by Mac, and Reptiles by Mac does not breed ball pythons. I've seen tours of their facility before, I've seen videos, they do not breed ball pythons for one reason or one reason only. It is not economically affordable. They're going to breed a ball python. It's going to cost them about 35 bucks per snake to get it to size when they can get it out of Africa for 10 to 5 bucks. They're not going to go out and breed these snakes. So most of the snakes you're looking for or that you're looking at in the pet stores, the big name pet stores, are going to be like this guy. They're going to go out in the wild. They're going to find a big adult female like this. This is a male, so obviously he can't get pregnant. But they're going to find a snake like this that's pregnant, bring it into their garage or their house, hook it up with heat and everything that they need. Probably in their garage would be the easiest from what I've seen, videos online and stuff. They're going to keep that female in there until she lays eggs, and they're going to incubate those eggs. They're going to hatch. They're going to ship them over to America by plane. Okay. You're going to have a bunch of problems with this. Not only are you going to get mites, ticks, but the animals are not, you know bred in captivity, so they're not going to be as nice, and I just all around don't think it's a good idea. Plus, um, when you're looking at the big chain pet stores, when you call in to ask them questions, most of those people have never kept a ball python like this guy before. Most of those, you know, big pet store chains out there are people that have, you know, limited experience with reptiles, let's say. So you're going to call them in, they're going to tell you all the stuff that they've been told to tell or that they have their little sheet that's inaccurate, I will mention. Um, on these reptiles, and it's just not a good way to get your first snake. Now, when I say pet stores, if you're looking at your mom and pop pet stores, meaning somebody that, you know, husband and wife, or just husband, or just wife, whatever, I don't care, they're, they have their own storefront, they, but they breed their snakes, thumbs up for me to get your snakes from there, because these people are reproducing the snakes. That means they're caring for the adults, they're caring for a bunch of babies, they know what they're talking about when they are looking at these snakes. Now, that's not true with all breeders, so definitely look for the reviews. Make sure that you're getting somebody that has good reviews. Um, if you can talk to as many people as you can, but your little mom and pop stores, they're going to have normally good customer service, good quality animals. You have any problems, you call them, you're going to get, you know, a good response. Now, you're going to pay more for that animal than you probably would for an import, especially if it's from one of the pet stores. You might pay 
you know, if you're t if we're talking about, you know, pastel, you'd be paying, you know, 30 to 40 bucks more, but it's going to be something that's captive bred, it's healthy, it's you're not going to have very many problems, okay? That's your first option. So look for the mom and pop pet stores, the big chain pet stores. I would say for beginner keepers, that's a big no-no. Second option you have, which is also, which this is actually a pretty good option, is going to the reptile shows, reptile expos, reptile shows, whatever you want to call them. Um, this is a good way or a good, you know, method of getting your snakes, your new first pet snake. You're going to have to watch out though because I've met some sleazy breeders before that have sick animals. They don't know what they're talking about. Like I went up to one guy, you know, I'm bullcrapping him and everything saying, you know, this is my first ball python, never had him before. I was just interested in what's the basic care on this guy. And they say, oh, you can put anything you want on the bottom, just something that'll let you clean it easy. And I was like, how about sand? Oh yeah, sand will work fine. I'm like, okay, but, um, so... You know, and they'll sit there and they'll say, oh, the ball python should be room temperature. They're just saying all this crap that they know isn't true, but they're trying to sell you on it, trying to make it easy. They'll say, oh, it just can be kept in a 10-gallon their whole life, just, you know, easiest animal to care for, because they're not really, they don't really care about the care of the animal at that point. They're trying to get you to bet, sell, or to buy. They're selling you. And you do not want to buy from those breeders. You want to buy from the breeders that you go in, look at all their animals, check them for mites, because the chances are if one of them has mites, Everything else in their collection is going to have mites. Look for the health of the animal. Make sure they have nothing that's sick. Um, talk to them. Make sure they give you some good information. And all around, make sure that they're a good guy. And especially you can get your reviews from people online or real life people is the best of that breeder. So if you're going to Reptile Expose, as long as you check on the breeder and you make sure that they know what they're talking about, have good animals, have good reviews, you should be good going that route. Now the third route that we have is buying online. And I've done this a few times, and it is a good option, um, but it's kind of a double-edged sword when you're looking at breeding uh, online, because online you have more options of the same animal. You can Google pastel into morph market and have a hundred different snakes come up, and you can handpick the best one. So there's more animals to pick from, and there's more reviews online, and it's easier to get reviews from people that sell online than in real life. But you can't see the animals in person, so you can't see their health in person. So you really have to rely, rely on good reviews and good customer service. If you send them a message and they don't send you a message back and you can't find any reviews, do not buy from that person. Because if you have problems, they're not going to be able to help you or they're not going to be willing to help you. And if they have no reviews, that means there's not enough people out there that saying that they're good, just don't do it. You're just trying to invite something bad to happen if you do that. Um, and those are the three big options. The main takeaway from this is, is big name pet stores, I wouldn't go there. They do animal meals and all kinds of stuff. You could get your snake from there, but only if you really know what you're looking for and you know if the snake's sick or not. If you've done your big heavy research on mites, mouth rot, RI, everything, okay? Um, reptile Expos, great options. Very, very, very good options. But you gotta check the breeder. You gotta make sure they have good reviews and you gotta check the overall health of all their animals. And watch out for mites. If one has mites, chances are they all do. Um, and when you're looking online, very important for reviews here. You cannot see the animals in real life. You're gonna be able to get a much bigger variety and maybe a little bit better quality of an animal, but you gotta make sure you're checking those reviews and that you guys are not gonna get an animal that's gonna be sick and have a breeder that's not gonna be able to help you. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments below. If you did like the video, give the video a like, and we upload every single day, basically. So if you guys like the channel, please subscribe. Um, and if you want to, hit the, you know, the notifications button. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys are getting any new snakes or you've got any new ball pythons recently, please hit me up in the comments. I love reading your guys' comments. Um, if you could even, my email's on there. If you really want to go above and beyond, send me a picture of your new snake and you will be sponsored or shown on a future video. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later.